and then we can go into, and then we could probably, I mean, cause we've got so many Course in Miracles people here today, we can probably go straight into, we might do anyway. I just wanted to share something about the power of the Course in Miracles and my, my experience, and specifically, so if you remember uh, from my story, I had kidney failure, I had extreme, I had addiction problems with food addiction, workalism, and I met, uh, I was given a DVD of Dr. Hawkins, who was a Course in Miracles teacher, uh, I wonder, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if everyone's heard of muscle testing or kinesiology, where you can check your muscle strength and find out whether something is true or false just by the, the strength in your muscles. And it's, a, it's a form of thing, kinesiology or muscle testing. Um, and um, so he, he was running, the, it's, uh, you can, if, any of you guys, if you, if you can know about this website called Audible, Audible, uh, you can get, uh, I think you can probably get it, it's Dr. Hawkins' lesson on A Course in Miracles, uh, Healing Illness Through A Course in Miracles by Dr. David R. Hawkins, it's a great uh, audio download. And I got that, <clears throat> and so he's, he said in that that he had about 23 illnesses, many of them life-threatening, and he was running A Course in Miracles group in America uh, for people with, uh, and, um, and they were all doing the lessons. They were all doing the lessons and they would meet up maybe once a week or something. And he'd always do this thing with his course students. He'd like get he'd show them how to do muscle testing or kinesiology, which is a very simple discipline. It's like just hold some artificial sweetener and then he get you get someone to check how strong your muscles are. And the muscles usually go weak with art, an artificial sweetener. Or if you hold like an organic apple, your muscle would stay strong if you held a chest and put down um, your arm. So that was going on, and he'd, they'd have fluorescent lights, and he'd ask them to look at the fluorescent lights, check their muscle strength, and they would go weak, because that's just the... You could say from Lesson 14, there's the collective belief systems of humanity, like certain things make most humans go weak, whenever, you know, like if you eat rat poison, most people will go weak. You know, so... And then he, they were doing the lessons up to about Lesson 76, and then he got his students to do their muscle testing and he said, look at the fluorescent lights and they wouldn't go weak. They stayed strong. And then they put the artificial sweeteners and he said, like, check them out. And they wouldn't go weak after they'd done the Course in Miracles. And it was like, suddenly it cottoned on that by doing the Course in Miracles lessons, the students were no longer going weak to stimuli in the world. Like normal human beings who haven't done the Course in Miracles, if you just check them with artificial, they would go weak. But after they'd done enough of the course, all the students in that group wouldn't go weak with artificial sweetener. And I thought, that's so, that, was, that was so incredible. So there was something very powerful happening as the students were doing A Course in Miracles. And then, so that was incredible, and I got that. And then he later ran a group for people with serious illnesses, like life-threatening illnesses. So the, he would apply in course, course principles and, and, and lessons and, and, and spiritual principles. And he had, they had people with cancer, AIDS, uh, my stupus gravis, uh, uh, and all of them were healing doing the lessons. And he had 23 illnesses, many of them life-threatening, and all of them left doing because you know, and and I was given this DVD of him, you know, with kidney failure, gout, asthma, like huge illnesses. So I was like, you know, this is from God. I've got to do the Course in Miracle lessons, and he talked about lesson. 14, especially, uh, there's lesson 14 from A Course in Miracles, which is, I'll just uh, paraphrase it very briefly, but in lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles, it says, part of it is like, you can say, God did not create these things, they are not real. And it says that some of these things that you believe are your personal hells, and some of these are our collective hells. So God, you can say, God did not create war, so it is not real. Or which was good for me, God did not create cancer, so it is not real. Or I had God did not create uh, asthma, so it's not real. God did not create kidney failure. Or he gave a different version, it's up to you, whichever one. There's another version, exactly the same thing. I cancel my belief in cancer. I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind. So I did that. I did the course lessons religiously, and... Uh, all of my illnesses left by, by miracles within three to five years. I just want to share this because um, I think, you know, th that, you know, my kidney, I got, a, I got a transplant, that I was discharged from the asthma clinic, 
that I was discharged from uh, the clinic for my gout attacks. I was discharged from all these clinics. But I think the one thing, because the ego mind, I think, likes facts, you know, and I had, by doing the course lessons, and especially this thing that we'll be doing together in the group, um, uh, God did not create cancer, or God did not create whatever it is, food addiction, or whatever it is, um, I was given a transplant, and I've got, I've got evidence of this, so it's not, you know, I'm not just sitting here making stuff up for fun, for fun of it. But I, I had a transplant, and I had 13 medication, which is normal. After a transplant, you usually have a, a massive bag of medications, of 13 medications. And I did this thing, which Hawkins said, like, I cancel my belief. You can, you can take things and cancel the belief they have any adverse or negative effects on you, and still take them. So I did this thing, I cancelled my belief in the adverse effects of medication. I'm an infinite being. Or you could say, God did not create adverse effects from medication, it's not real. Or God did not create side effects from medication, so it's not real. Just applied that course thing. And within, um, and I think this is just miraculous, within about two and a half years, and I've got evidence of this, I was down to one medicine from 13 to one. And I went to see the transplant patient, uh, the transplant doctor, you have your regular checkups with the uh, transplant consultant. And he said he did not know of anyone in, in the hospital who was a transplant patient taking less medication than me. Just by, you know, just, and it went down from 13 to 1. And I was, uh, from what I understand what he's saying, there was no one else in the hospital who was taking so little medication for being a, a transplant patient. And I have that evidence. So it's like, this stuff is super, super powerful, which you'll be doing. And it's the thing that, all, you know, the, the Course talks about this world being an illusion, or I would say that it's the, uh, my view would be, the identified ego creates the experience of fear and separation, and a world of fear and separation, which is, which you could say is the illusion. So that people who are identified with their ego experience themselves as being separate, in a separate body, in separate mind and and therefore they experience you could say separation anxiety and the ego is projecting that if you get this thing here or do that thing or whatever that that will alleviate the separation anxiety so i feel i feel i'm separate here in my body and my thoughts if i eat that donut then i'll be whole or if i get that girlfriend i'll be whole or if i get that career i'll be whole or if i do that thing so that's the step, but actually you have to dissolve the ego to delete the separation anxiety to get to the place of oneness or the holy instant. Or holiness for me means one, whole. Either we're, we're a group of separated individuals around a table, or there's just one whole, one. There's only one of us here. Or people who are identified with their ego experience a room full of separated individuals and people who are not identified with their ego experience is just oneness here. So that's just a different, different uh, experiencing. So uh, I just wanted to share, when I, and just how I do it, you know, because I also, when I met Muji for a one-to-one -one who asked me what, what, you know, to go to that which is observing my, my sense of individuated self, and I had a white light spiritual experience, um, where there was no world, just just intense love and light uh, on a scale that was uh, unimaginable. So if you release the identification with the ego, you experience infinite light and infinite love and no separation. So that was my experience. So when I do like, you know, God did not create, God did not create uh, uh, asthma, so it's not real, for example. I see that as not being real in the light of God and it, it gets deleted, you see. Just by doing that, for me, if you keep immersing yourself in that infinite light, which is the truth, then these limited ideas which, which manifest started, all started to dissolve from my life. And that was my experience. So I just wanted to share that uh, for that, and then we'll get started on some of these exercises.